name is Carlton Relaford uh, from Kingsport. Um, I'm also known as Star. Spiritually tuned among rhythm and rhyme is what that means. I'm, a, uh, I'm an actor, singer, songwriter. Uh, I was here teaching the workshop at, um, on, uh, on drama and um, uh, performance poetry which was really more focused on uh, drama, the drama aspect. Just giving back to the community. Um, um, since uh, things kind of ran over, I didn't get to express a lot of the things I wanted to. Um, my whole point for being here was uh, just, you know, coming back to the community to help out. And uh, letting the letting the kids know that come to the workshop that you know their dreams are possible whether it's on a, a big scale um, or a large scale um, that they don't have to you know you know rely on uh, drugs or just just entertainment just sports to uh, you know get them out of some of these situations that they're in. Um, you know, just learning how to deal with some of these things in a creative, uh, some of these issues that they're going through in a creative way. I'm the uh, youth project director of Carpetback Theater in Knoxville. Uh, we're currently doing a show called Between the Ballad and the Blues. Um, my character plays guitar, so that's why I'm, I learned to play guitar last year. Um, the show is about, uh, which is which is really in a weird way kind of uh, coincides with what I'm doing here. Uh, the show is about black string band music in Knoxville in the, uh, in the 30s and 40s. And the journey of Howard Louis Bowie Armstrong and uh, the two members of his group, Carl Martin and Ted Bogan. I play Ted Bogan. And it's just the, 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 the journey and the struggles of uh, musicians in that time and how music uh, was taken from them. Uh, record companies would come into Knoxville, record these artists, tell them that they would hear back from them and just disappear with their music and sell and be selling their records. And now, uh, like 20, 30 years later, um, in the 70s, uh, there was a revival of string band and, and folk music. Um, so it's just a, a story of the progression of that, uh, their journey on how we've, uh, as African Americans, how we've lost uh, some of our, some of the music, some of our heritage, some of our culture uh, that was taken from us. Um, you know, like most people don't know, like. Uh, most most of our people don't know that uh, guitars and banjos those are African instruments. You know, a lot of people don't know that. I just found out like two three years ago. So just you know stuff like that, uh, letting the people know about the culture, about the history. That it, it goes deeper than just you know Malcolm X and uh, Martin Luther King. It's, it's deeper than Marcus Garvey. You know, those are pivotal figures. But there are other figures that are kind of more connected to the region, you know, on a more, on a smaller scale, not a, not a national scale, that, you know, there are stories that need to be heard.